Gemini, what is going on? Okay, Gemini, this is going to be your first part of March reading. Um, 2023, what's going on the first part of March? That would be March the 1st through the 15th. Okay, so let's get some of your energies, Gemini. Let's get some of your energies. Okay, we have change. Okay, Gemini, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Beautiful energy. At the bottom, look at this, we have happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So, Gemini, what you're doing at the moment could be leading you in the right direction, leading you on the right path for March, okay? Because I feel like you're, you know, you've, you have this positive vibration. Um, you're doing something that is bringing you happiness bringing you joy it could be bringing you abundance as well let's get some more energy but i feel like you're going through some kind of changes you're evolving in a way to where you are going through this growth spurt gemini okay um let's get some more energy for gemini we have romance and connection so if you're open to love march is the time to get moving okay and we have take a step back so whatever that you're doing kind of take it slow but keep moving forward okay um you may need time to rest time to rejuvenate as you go through these changes or these this evolution period that you're going through Okay, let's, more energy for Gemini. Okay, we have a new start is coming. So with this change, I feel like there's some kind of new beginning. Some kind of new beginning that you may not be aware of. And being confident in whatever this success is, is going to be really beneficial. So whatever the situation is, Gemini, being confident in your situation is going to help. It's going to um, bring about this change that you need. Okay, let's get some tarot for Gemini. And of course, we have some jumpers. Okay, first card out, the Two of Wands. So this is definitely like expanding, growing, um, looking at your surroundings, making plans, making decisions for your future. I feel like you're, you're possibly waiting on some kind of outcome. Um, but I feel like things are really changing around you. And oh my gosh, now see. We have like jumpers like crazy. This is just way too much spirit. Just a moment. Okay, I'm gonna take these ones that fell and that is it. Okay. Okay, so we have the King of Wands. With the Two of Wands, we have the King of Wands. We have the Strength card. Okay. And we have the Ten of Cups. So, like I said, we, we've seen that happiness at the bottom of the deck. So, it, you know, um, I feel like there is happiness around you. I feel like you are strong enough to go through whatever this, uh, whatever these changes are. And I feel like with this... With this King of Wands energy, I'm really getting excitement. I'm really getting something bold, exhilarating, something that you need to take action on. 
something that you need to move towards, okay? But you may need to have some patience and be strong <laughs> because I feel like at times you're going to feel like you're moving too fast. I feel like, you know, you may have times when you need to take a step back and just breathe. You know, because I feel like you are a busy bee, Gemini, in the much of, month of March. I feel like there's a lot going on. You're going to stay busy. You're going to be focused. Um, but some kind of contentment, some kind of wish that you may have put out there in the universe. This could also be the Nine of Cups energy. This could be you just being very content in the position that you're at. Okay. Um, as you're going through these changes, I feel like um, it's bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment, feeling like all of your needs are being met. Okay. Um, Give me more of a message. The moon. Even though everything may not be fully evident to you, and I mean, I feel like you, you may not have all of the answers now, but I feel like you're still moving forward. You're still, you know, taking that inspired action to move towards something. And you may receive some kind of communication, some kind of invitation that is going to like spark your curiosity, um, make you very happy. <laughs> but I'm feeling a lot of energy at the moment for Gemini. Okay, this may be some kind of new project, some kind of new venture, some kind of new adventure. Uh, the Page of Wands could be, you know, you going on a journey or taking some kind of new adventure. Okay. Um, and we have, oh, wow, we have the Sun card. So not only do we have, now, look at this. We had happiness at the bottom, Gemini. Okay. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Okay, and we have the Ten of Cups, for real. The Nine of Cups, okay, and the Sun card, okay. <laughs> so, whatever this is that you're working on, whatever this is that's coming to light for you, is bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot, and this may be overwhelming happiness, okay? Something, something is happening that is like triggering a breakthrough for you. Some kind of special changes are happening for Gemini. More jumpers, for real. And we have the Ace of Swords. Oh, we have more than one. Okay. So we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like it is definitely something that you're working on. Some kind of pleat, some kind of seeds that you have planted are now, you know, becoming mature. Becoming available for you to pick. You know, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that, you know, some kind of abundance, some kind of thought processes are becoming clear. You know, even though you don't have all of the answers, I feel like all of the information that you need to move forward is coming to you. This is a blessing. This is a blessing being provided to you from spirit. Okay, that's exactly what I'm getting from this. This is something that you... You really don't expect how good this is exactly on, going to be because you also have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is abundance. This is happiness. This is longevity. This is something you can definitely rely on. Something that 
is very beneficial. And the word that I'm getting is prosperous. Okay. So something is growing. Something is changing. It could be that your business is growing. If you have a business, if you're your own boss, or um, if you have a career, it could be that, you know, you're getting this raise, your business is doing good, you're bringing in a lot of money to your business. So you're getting some kind of income, some kind of return from the efforts that you're putting in. But something is coming back to you that is a blessing. Okay, um, if this is love, this is love like you've never known before. Hmm. The Page of Swords. Some kind of information you're very curious about. You may be researching something. You may be looking into something that's going to increase even more what it is that you're doing. But with this page of swords, I feel like this is some sort of information that you're receiving. You could be receiving downloads or information while you're sleeping. Um, but I feel like it's very beneficial to what it is that you're doing. I feel like with the Five of Swords, I feel like someone did not have a lot of confidence that this was going to, you know, turn the way that it did. It may be you that really didn't have confidence in the situation, but I feel like once you see the turnaround, once you see all this good fortune, this abundance, this blessing coming in, I feel like now you feel like this is a wish that's being granted to you. This is a blessing that you were expecting all along um, that's bringing you so much happiness, okay? Um, very interesting energy. But I feel like this is something that you're still working on. This is something that you haven't quite completed. You're still going through the changes with it. Tell me what may be challenging, Gemini, in this situation. Tell me what may be challenging, Gemini. The star card. Okay, so this is something that you have to have increased faith in. This is something that you want to put your energy into and not just give it just a small part. Give it your all, you know. I, I feel like with this energy, we also have the King of Cups at the bottom. So, like I said, if this is a business, I feel like this is something that you really need to nurture, something you need to put more energy into because it's growing it's evolving it's changing and i feel like it's changing to provide you this blessing if this is some kind of romantic situation some kind of connection that you're having i feel like this healing needs to be focused on some kind of healing some kind of inner work needs to be focused on to help some kind of healing some kind of um, heart healing. Okay. So that you can really evolve into the situation. I feel like it's very, very beautiful energy, Gemini. Whatever this is, I feel like this is something that is really bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment. Um, yeah, but you're still putting work into this. You're still planting seeds. You're not finished yet. You're still like putting your love into the situation and just taking your time watching it grow. 
and that's exactly what I'm feeling with this star as well. I feel like you're kind of having hope that, you know, this is going to grow the way you anticipate it to. But I, I feel like this may be a miracle that you're watching evolve. Okay, but there's still some seeds that you need to plant. There's still some some love you need to put into this. You need to nurture it a little bit longer. Okay. We have the two of swords. So another challenge that you might face is you may find yourself at a crossroads. You may find that you need to make a very hard decision um maybe even compromise but i i feel like it's all going to work out look at this we have the two of cups at the bottom so you, whatever it is that you have to decide or um compromise I feel like it's still going to go in your favor. If this is love, I feel like this is blossoming. Okay? If this is a partnership, this is a partnership that's building abundance. Okay? That's what I'm feeling with this Two of Cups energy. And we also have the temperance. So take your time and build this up. It's not going to happen overnight. If this is love, you know, you're not going to have this beautiful, long-lasting love overnight. And the same goes for a business or some kind of venture. You're not going to have success overnight. So, you know, I feel like you're pouring your heart into the situation so have patience and watch this grow and flourish and develop into what you truly want this to become okay um, but beautiful energy okay let's get another message spirit do you have any advice what is the outcome for the situation for Gemini. Give me an outcome, please. Okay, the Nine of Cups again. Wow. We have the Fool. This is a new journey. Taking the leap of faith. And the Five of Swords. Okay. Gemini. Oh my gosh. And the Sun card at the bottom. So it all, all roads lead to the Sun. Definitely. You're going to have happiness, abundance, success. All roads lead to the sun. You have the sun twice. You have the um, ten of cups, the ten of pentacles, and the nine of cups twice. Okay? So something is making you very happy. Something is bringing you a lot of contentment, feeling that all of your needs are met, all of your um <clears throat> Your wishes may be granted, you know, but I feel like you're going on this new journey. But Spirit is letting you know to have faith. You're taking a leap of faith, so it's not going to be without its struggle. So take the struggles with stride, okay? Follow your intuition. Follow the universe's lead because the, the universe is leading you into the right direction. Look, it, it's leading him past his struggle, Okay, I feel like he's he's moving towards this mountain. He's moving towards that success, that abundance. Okay, so you just have to have that, that faith that all is going to go well. Stay positive, stay motivated. The fool, he doesn't really know exactly where he's destined to end up. He's just following the lead of the universe. The universe is, is urging him to take this inspired action, to just go, okay? And he doesn't really know where he's going. He's just following the universe's instruction. And I feel like, you know, open your mind, open your heart, and listen to your intuition because I feel like you're being led on this beautiful journey that's in evolving you into more success more evolution more change more you know abundance 
And I feel like the more you go through this, the more the wheel turns, I feel like you are, you know, having this overflow of happiness and abundance and just feeling successful in general. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm getting for you, uh, Gemini. So it's very beautiful energy. So even if you do go through struggles, I feel like that struggle is going to teach you a valuable lesson on how to keep moving forward in your journey. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some angel cards. Let's see what we have for Gemini for March 2023. Okay, we have Ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. You're going on this beautiful, beautiful journey, Gemini. And, you know, the more things that you go through as far as changes or, you know, these new beginnings. But I feel like this is a, a journey that you are going to really appreciate and be grateful for. You know, um, so it's beautiful energy. At the bottom, we have awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear the cloak of protection and love. So spirit is letting you know that you are being protected. You are being watched over. You know, your angels have your back. Okay, so that is beautiful, Gemini. That, you know, your angels are here for you. They are guiding you, whether you know it or not. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get some Manifestation Moonology. Let's see what Manifestation Moonology has to say. Okay, we have New Moon in Scorpio. Go deeper. So listen to your inner spirit. Listen to your inner self. That inner voice is guiding you, whether you realize it or not. That inner voice is leading you while you're going through this, these changes, while you're going through this beginning of something beautiful. Okay. We also have speak your world into being. So, Gemini, stay positive, stay grounded. Speak positivity into your life, into your being, into whatever this is that you are beginning, evolving, whatever this is you are manifesting. This is your card. Speak your world into being. Whatever you speak, Gemini, you have the ability to manifest. So keep it positive. If you have to, listen to positive affirmations. Listen to positive meditations. You know, that way you, you are really kind of getting that positive energy, like um, subconsciously in your mind. That way you stay grounded. You stay positive. Okay? Beautiful energy for you. Gemini. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. So, Gemini, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising once I have them uploaded. And until your next reading, Gemini, many blessings to you. Love and light. Happy March.